Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hope you are all having a great beginning of your week so far. Mine's a little bit uh, off to a slow start. My wife is in the Army Reserves and this past Friday she left at 3, 3 o'clock in the morning and had a four-day drill. So she didn't get back home until Monday, which was yesterday, which is when I normally shoot this video. But I decided to spend the rest of the day with her. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm a day late recording this, but that's fine. Um, and my neighbor just started using a chainsaw when I started recording this. So hopefully that doesn't uh, come through the audio. But anyway, uh, this last video, I, last video I made, project I made, was these mallets. And um, these are all spoken for, by the way. Not necessarily spoken for, but I know who I'm going to give them to. People who have shown their support for me over the past couple of years. So um, I'm going to give these as gifts. I know a lot of people have expressed interest in them. I'm not going to sell them. I appreciate all the interest that there is. Uh, but yeah, these are all... Pretty much spoken for, I guess. Um, the finish that I put on them is shellac, and if you're a convenience person like me, shellac is a great finish for the mo depending on the project, obviously. But it's an alcohol-based finish, so it dries so fast. It's easy to apply. It's hard to screw up. If you get any runs, they're easily sanded away and blend in with the, the next coats. Um, and also, if like you don't even have to clean the brush with shellac. The, a brush that's used. I have a dedicated shellac brush that hardens up once I'm done using it. And when I need to use it again, I just put it back in the container for about a half hour and the, it, it absorbs back in or it dissolves back into the brush and is ready to go. So big fan of shellac. I used to use it all the time back when I first started woodworking and making a bunch of pine projects. I used amber shellac a lot. I'm just not a fan of the amber color anymore. Uh, but clear shellac, I like it. It's a good little finish. Um, it was a longer video. That video was about, I think it was 12 minutes or longer. And it seems like all of my longer videos are well received and people really enjoy them. Uh, well, enjoy them more so than, than like a normal video, it seems like. And they perform better on YouTube. So I think I may start making a little bit longer videos. Uh, I don't really shoot for a specific time frame when I'm making a video anymore. Um, this past summer, I just started saying, well, forget about it. Whatever the video length is, that's just what it is. However long it takes, it, that's what it takes. So uh, if you guys like the video, longer videos, um, let me know. I enjoy uh, explaining things a little bit better in longer videos whenever possible. Um, also, this, some people have noticed that the, uh, well, first off, I, I rotated the workbench around so the leg vice is facing the wall. And that was mainly because I used this side of the, the workbench a lot more than the other side. And all of my lights in my shop are towards the center of the shop. So if my back is against the wall, then I've got better lighting this way. And if I had it the other way around, like I had it when I made the tool tote video, um, my face was a, a shadow most of the time because all the lights were behind my head when the, when the camera was up against this wall shooting this way. So that's why I rotated it around, but also, uh, that put the, the, the twin screw, I guess the pipe clamp vice towards the center of the shop on that side. And so far I haven't really used that particular vice. It was made, I implemented it on this workbench specifically for, um, wider panels and such. Uh, so it's a quick and easy vice for that situation. However, I haven't really used it because I've had the other vices for the vast majority of my tasks. So I put the, uh, just goofing off i put the tool tote in that vice and it worked really well and i was like well that's a, that's a decent idea so the way i have it right now the the tool tote is in the, the pipe clamp vice and it's held in place by one of the screws so literally a quarter turn of the screw will release everything and you can pick it up and set it aside put the vice jaw back in place and you're back in business with the vice so it's super simple and easy to change it around. This just gives me like a, a non-permanent tool well or a tool tray that's actually out of my way but still convenient. So I still have all of my workbench uh, top surface to work off of and all of my tools right here, but I'm not uh, covering up the workbench top. So like I said, eventually down the road, I do want to make some type of tool wall or something. That way I have uh, nothing obscured on my, on my workbench on either side. But right now, that was a uh, quick and easy little thing to do. It's working out. It's working out really, really, really well. Uh, the next project is going to be my dining table. I'm going to start on it tomorrow, and I'm going to start with the work with the dining table top. 
Not exactly sure if I'm gonna do breadboard ends. I think I'm going to do a breadboard end, but I haven't 100% decided on it. The base will end up being the mission style base simply because I need to make something with four legs and four apron rails to kind of hold the top down because all of my lumber is four quarter lumber for the table top. I don't want to risk making like a trestle style base and having that long span in the middle with no support below and then you end up leaning on the top a little bit and it sags in the middle because of your weight. So I want to have some more support all the way around. It's going to be the mission style base. And the mission style base that I showed last week in SketchUp is kind of like a rough guide. I don't know on all the details how everything's going to be. I don't know how many vertical partitions will be in the end pieces and the spacing and all that stuff. So I'll kind of make it up as I go. And I'm not sure if I'll do plans on it or not. Just depends on how much interest there is for plans. Although I think I should do plans. So we'll see on that. Um, uh, a lot of questions on the the dust the um, I'm sorry dust collection the um, that little mini router table setup I did just clamping the the laminate router in my bench vise when I chamfered the edges on this on these mallets I posted a video on my second channel yesterday or the day before yesterday so uh, check that out if you are interested in seeing more about that and that's all I've got for you guys this week it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a tough Tough week this week working with Hickory. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's supposed to be 87 degrees today, which is crazy for March. Um, but I've got to actually mow my lawn for the first time. So the rest of the day today, I'm going to be spending doing yard work tomorrow, starting in on the dining table. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see progress pictures. You guys take care. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.